Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So in a previous video, you guys have seen that I did a little unboxing of the Erno Laszlo. Laszlo? I don't know. Right there. Right there. I did an unboxing kind of of this that I got from Influencer. It is the Lightning Brighten White Marble Bright Face Mask. Too Faced Lightning Mask. So you guys know in that video I told you guys that I'd be trying this later on. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Alright, so I opened up the directions to the White Marble Bright Face Mask. So I'm just going to read this really quick. Inspired by the luminous perfection of pure white marble, this collection of advanced brightening treatments helps improve the signs of uneven skin tone and dark spots thanks to the powerful plant-derived ingredients. The effect of Falala's Glow. Rich brightening actives work to gently but effectively restore skin's useful glow. Licorice extract, used for its health benefits as far back as ancient China, naturally brightens the appearance of dark spots. Lemon extract helps the skin appear more youthful by deeply cleansing and brightening the skin. Jojoba seed oil is remarkably rich in skin-loving nutrients that hydrate, soothe, balance, and protect the integrity of skin. Directions. Mix the powder in the liquid phases to activate preparation. Apply to cleanse skin, avoiding the eye area, hairline, and mouth. Allow the mask to dry for 15 to 20 minutes. Peel downwards to reveal a refreshed complexion. So I'm gonna go wash my face really quick and I'll be back, so hang on. All right, so I just washed my face. I still have like my eye makeup on since I'm not gonna be putting this around my eyes. But I've washed and cleansed my skin, so my skin is all set and ready for a mask. All right, so inside here, there is a little spatula like this. Here is step number two. And step number one. So what I can tell on here from the pictures, you're going to need a bowl. So I just have this little plastic container here, and I think that should work. So right here is packet number one, this is the liquid. Right away I can smell this and it smells really good. But to me it looks like there is a lot of product. I don't know, maybe it will it'll probably thicken up when the powder is in there. But it does smell really good. Kind of has like a I don't even know how to describe it. Kind of like a fruity smell to it. I don't know, it just smells really good. That's all I know. And I'm taking this slow because I want to get out as much product as I can. I don't want to waste any spatula here. I'm just going to kind of get everything off. I can't. This is kind of like a thicker consistency. It reminds me almost of like, like a honey type of consistency. That's what it's like. Next right here I have step two, which is the powder. All right, so now I'm gonna mix this together. So as you guys can see, it is thickened up quite a bit now, so I think we're ready to apply it. It's nice and all combined, so I think we're all set and ready to go. All right, I just wanna take this and just start applying it to my face. Ooh, that's cold, very cold. It smells really good though. I feel like I'm like putting frosting on a cake or something right now. That's what it feels like. It's really cooling though. It feels really good. Make sure to get the double chin. Shout out to all my peeps who have double chins. Who cares if you do? It's more to love, right? More to love. All right, so I'm gonna finish putting this on all over my face and I'll be back, so hang on. All right, so here I am, I have all on and there was no real clear direction on how thick or thin to do this. So I did it kind of like a medium thickness. Um, it did kind of get hard to use because it really quickly started getting very clumpy and if you guys can see this, let me see. 
it kind of I don't know, it kind of feels like a like a putty like you know like if you make like homemade like play-doh like the flour and cornstarch and water that's kind of like what it feels like and I did have a fair amount of product left so that's why I wasn't quite sure on how much you were supposed to do because I have like that much left so that's quite a bit so I don't really know this is all kind of like trial and error um, I'm just using the directions that came with the box didn't look online or anything like that because that's how most people do it so I can feel it starting to dry it's a very different feeling mask like it's not like it's not like a gel mask it's not like a clay mask it just it feels very different but we'll see in 15 to 20 minutes so I'll be back then so hang on hope that I didn't scare any young children I swear I should totally wear this the night of trick-or-treaters because boo hey guys so I'm back and I can't really talk too well because the mask I think is pretty much dried it feels very strange it kind of feels like silicone and that's what it has dried to it's, it's unlike any other mask that I've ever tried before and I'm kind of thinking that I maybe should have done it a little bit thicker maybe that's why I had that much left um, just because I can kind of tell that maybe that's how it's supposed to be but again there wasn't really any clear direction so I just kind of wung it but all right so we're gonna try and take this off now it says on here to peel downwards to reveal a refreshed complexion so here we go. Let me zoom in a little bit. So let's see. I can see fully why you would not want to get this near your hair. Yeah. I mean, it's coming off fairly well. Definitely, I would say that you would want to make it a little bit thicker just so you have more to hang on to. But here's what it looks like, you know. And it feels kind of like, like I said, like silicone or liquid latex. Um, that's just the feeling that I have from it. So, I did get a little bit in my baby hairs. Of course. Why not, right? Ugh. No matter what you do. No matter what you do, those darn baby hairs. Ugh. Eh. That actually feels really nice coming off. Well, it does. It's kind of like liquid latex or silicone. That's just the texture that I'm getting. So again, the baby hairs. Go figure. I'm going to have to wash that out. So, Yeah, definitely, if you do have this, do it kind of thicker. So you have plenty to, like, grab onto. Just like me, plenty to grab onto. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Look at that. I look like I'm like a yoder. With like a little like mustache thingy beard. Alright. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of messy all over the place. But that is what the mask looks like. I do have some more pieces to take off. So let me just go wash my skin. And I'll be back. But real quick, let me just zoom you in. So you can kind of see, you know... My skin feels very soft and very supple. Excuse the little gnarliness here, but yeah. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna go wash off my face, so hang on. All right guys, so I'm back with a nice, fresh, washed face. And this is what my skin looks like now. It feels really good. I mean, really good. Has a nice, really cool feeling to it. Um, I don't know. It just feels fantastic. It's not like any other um, mask I've ever used before with a feeling after. I really liked that. But what I learned from this one is when you do do this, make sure that you use all the product and put it on thicker than what you might think you'll need because it does kind of dry down and it does get kind of like silicone 
So you just need a little bit extra to make it peel off and the thicker spots peel off the best. So definitely use the whole thing. I know it's gonna look like there's a ton, but try it out. Um, when I was like mixing the mask and putting it on my face, it did feel kind of thick, but it all apparently worked out well. Um, I really liked it. So that is getting like a Courtney approval. I absolutely love it. So I'll be using this more often because Oh, that just felt so good. That'll kind of be like a pamper night sort of thing just because I loved it so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.